This demonstration is to show the relationship between voltage and power as measured by watts. In this demonstration, we will be using an external mains voltage supplier to enable us to vary the incoming mains to the prop saver. We will also be using two loads, one being an electrical kettle and another a small electric toaster oven. We're now going to carry out some tests showing some of the equipment we've got together and what the effects are on power output when voltage is reduced or increased. To start with you can see the prop saver which is showing about an average UK voltage 242. Uh, there is no output power at the moment because none of our electrical equipment is switched on and you'll notice that the bypass light is on stating that no regulation of the prop saver and we're seeing direct mains input voltage. So what I'd like to do first is to demonstrate what the power usage would be of the oven when we switch it on. Now you'll see that the oven is now showing a 1.44 kilowatt at 242 volts. I'm now going to uh, put the regulation of the prop saver on which will automatically bring it down to 220 volts. And now we can see at um, the 220 volts that the kilowatt has gone down to 1.15. That's a saving of approximately 16% in watts. I'm now going to put it on to the optimum at 210 and you'll now see that the output voltage has changed here to 210 and we've got a further uh, reduction of about another 7%. Okay, let's go back to the standard 220 uh, volt output. So the prop saver is now regulating the mains voltage and I'm now going to switch off the oven and now place the machine on bypass so we can still see that there's 242 mains voltage coming in. I'm now going to put the kettle on and we'll see that the power of the kettle is initially 2.06 kilowatts. That'll slightly come down as it heats up. We'll now go on to prop saver regulation at 220 volts and we now see that the kilowatts has also been reduced to 1.61 again another reduction of around about 16 to 17 percent. I'm now going to switch off the kettle and place both of the units on at the unregulated mains voltage of 242 so we'll put on the oven now and put a total load of oven which as you remember is 1.4139 1 we're also going to put on the kettle so we've got a total loading there of about 3.4 kilowatts 3400 watts I'm now going to regulate the output of the prop saver we're now down to 220 volts and you'll see that the cumulative value of the electric kettle and toaster or mini oven has now come down to 2.87 again a consistency of 16 to 17 percent reduction in watts I'm now going to switch off both of my appliances and provide you with an indication of varying voltages against varying power outputs. So I'm going to use my external source 
to increase the voltage coming into the prop saver up to the uh, maximum range permitted in the UK but is 253. So I put my prop saver onto bypass. I'm now increasing the incoming voltage to 253. There we are, just about 253. I'm now going to uh, put on the oven. So we've got a constant load all the time. And you'll notice there that there is 1.5 kilowatts, uh, about 100 watts larger than what we had at 242 volts. I'm now going to put the kettle back on and give us a total load of about 3.1 kilowatts. And now I'm going to reduce the power down on my power source and show you the relationship between volts and watts. As we go down now to 240 volts, you'll see the kilowatts has come down. I'm going down now in one volt increments. You'll see the kilowatts being reduced proportionately as we go down. And we're down now to 220, as we saw before, 2.83. I'm going to go down, right the way down to 210 before my kettle boils over. And we see that's 2.62. We'll now switch off the kettle. And what we will now do is bring the voltage back up to the 253 volts that is the maximum permitted supply voltage in the UK I'm now going to turn on the regulation of the machine the prop saver is now going on the 253 is being reduced to 220 we can see that massive reduction and as we reduce the voltage in the AC power source. I'm now at 250. I'm now at 230. I'm now at 200. And you'll see there's hardly any change to the output voltage of the prop saver, proving that it's regulating and stabilizing the power output at all times, irrespective of the incoming voltage providing that incoming main voltage is plus or minus 10% of 220.